talk about the linebacking core a little bit. The returning three starters. How how is that going to give you guys an advantage this season? Well, the advantage is they play and they got some uh, some games under their belt. You know, the, the thing that we had to develop coming in is some depth. And I think Rashard Clyde has, I think, got himself in the mix. You know, he's playing like a starter. And I, there's still, you know, certain things he's got to get better at, but he's really made some great strides here in this camp, especially as of late. So I'm really happy with what he's done. And uh, I'm pleased with the way Sam Barrington's progressed. And uh, being more consistent, and, uh, his leadership, I just love it. And Didi Lattimore, you know, Didi gets his pads down, he's hard to block. Didi, Didi loves football. The highlight of his day is coming to practice. He's the first one out there. He beats the coaches out there, so he's a pleasure to coach. Is there anyone else at that position, younger players, that you know, you've noticed having improved at him? I think the, uh, Whitehurst, when the younger kid has been out there, uh, when he was out there, he did a nice job. He's come along pretty well. I thought Corey Hamilton was doing some decent things as a young player. And, uh, I thought Kalen Hall as a walk-on for us came on and really improved. You know, maybe they had some depth for us there. In the last depth chart, Ruben uh, Garcia was this on too deep. What do you saw him uh, through the spring and summer? Ruben is uh, a guy that's he's a lunch pail guy. He's out there every day and he's a physical player, very reliable, and uh, he's filling the backup role right now at the right linebacker. Chris, you know, since beyond, I mean, I think we know Eric Lee will play, but do you, do you know what other true freshmen you expect to suit up on defense and play this Saturday? Well, there's a couple guys that are still, um, we'll see how things progress with our depth. But, you know, Whitehurst is in the mix there. I think Spencer's in the mix there. So we'll see how, you know, Jalen Spencer I'm speaking about, yeah. you know, <laughs> might be in the mix down the road. We'll see how it progresses. How do you feel about the defense with the opening game four days away? Well, it's, you know, there's some nerves because it's their first game. You're always nervous for the first game, but I think they're also excited about getting out there and playing. And uh, playing beside somebody else on the offense, you see the same plays, they see the same, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's something new. They get out and play in front of the crowd. And, uh, I think they're excited about that atmosphere and getting into that. And seeing how they play when no coaches are on the field. You know, let's, let's go out there and play when no coaches on the field and see how it goes and see who steps up as leaders in the game. What about your front four? How do you feel about that? I'm excited about their, their workers. I mean, they got great. I think we got toughness up there. We got competition up there, and uh, they play well together. And uh, I think, I think, also there, there's some competition there. So practice every day. You know, one guy steps up, the other guy has to move up. You know, but, so there's some competition. There. Is that the key to a defense? Is successful defense for four in your opinion? It starts there, and uh, I think. Everything starts in the middle, like in baseball. You know, your nose guard, your tackle, and your Mike linebacker, and your free safety. So, I really think up front, you know, we got some depth up there, and we got great technicians that also play with great force and talent. Chris, in terms of Corey Grissom and his progress, I mean, I think you you know he's a guy that'll be a starter for you. Is he at that level this week already? I think he's really close. Yeah, poor chops out there working, and uh, it's great to see him out there. You love his energy as a player. You love his passion for the game. And, you know, I know everybody knows he's a good football player, but he's got all those intangibles that, you know, that make you a great defense, and he's unselfish, and uh, I'm just happy as a coach he's out there with us. You'll be on the sideline Saturday, right? As opposed to the press box, you'll be down on the field? I'll be in the booth. You'll be in the booth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you, were you in the booth at K-State as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you feel about this opening day to the last one in uh, Kansas State? Well, Open day is an open game, you know, it's a game's a game, and you know, I just enjoy the challenge and uh, preparing the team and getting them ready and uh, see where we are right now. And, uh, you know, Chattanooga is a great challenge because they pose a lot of threats offensively. You know, they get a lot of different variety in their offense, you know, that we're going to see down the road. So, uh, they got the newcomer of the year in the conference, they got three good running backs, they got a veteran offensive line, so it's going to be a challenge. And that's what we're looking for. This is going to be your first game in Raymond James Stadium. You looking forward to it? No, this is my third game in Raymond James Stadium. I was hearing two Outback Bowls in South Carolina. Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> um, this time we'll be on the other sidelines. So. Won both of those, right, didn't you? Did, did you win both of those? Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, first one with USF, I'll say it that way. Yeah, that's right. First game with USF. <laughs> exactly right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach.